everybody? Hi. Hello. I'll try that again. Hello. All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Afa and Seth. Thank you. Um, I am Arisha. I am not here to sing. I am here to read you some of my words. I'm a spoken word poet. Um, thank you so much to the TEDx UTP team for having me, especially to Alia. Thank you so much. And um, all right, I suppose let's begin. Okay, a little bit of a background. All right, the title, no, the theme of this event is Moonshot, right? So what I understand from it is um, that it's about when you have a problem and then you find a radical solution for said problem. So for me, in my little world, when I am faced with a problem, my solace is writing. And um, I'm very happy, very honored to share some of my words with you today. So are you ready for some spoken word? Yeah, yeah? okay, do I get another yeah? yeah. All right, okay. Just a sip of water, hang on. Okay, cool. All right. This one is called Orang Seni. Nas, this is for you. I have a friend right here, Nas, right there. She's in yellow. Poets are narcissists. We only write about ourselves, what we know, and expect people to share our sentiment. Although expectation is the root of all disappointments, we sometimes put music in words, words that sometimes rhyme and make people, friends like Nas, listen to us. We ask for their time. Kalau tak datang, kita merajuk. Kalau tak datang, kita rasa tak dapat support. Orang seni memang cepat sensi. Kalau tak support, kita fikir kau langsi. Had a chat about the significance of spoken word and we talked about how it's a responsibility of us on stage, on page, to be sensitive and fully aware of what's being said. For this short stint that I have in getting your attention, I must be sure to carefully mention my purest intention and not to go off tangent in only speaking of my woes, but also to resonate with your sorrows. And if I make you smile a little, or hurt you a little, or make you feel a little uneasy, then I may have done what I am here to do in making you question what is true. But the truth is not pretty. What play is a game. What I say may not be what you understand. And what you choose to listen to is beyond my control. My words are tenfold, layers upon layers, like dressing up for crazy weather. You seek shelter, finding comfort in words, in verses you scroll through Instagram, hashtag deep, hashtag poets of Instagram, hashtag midnight musings, hashtag words are confusing. Poets. Poets are narcissists. We write of stars and the moon like they are our best friends. As though they only belong to us. What is this about claiming ownership? Nothing belongs to anyone. No one belongs to anyone. We are free. We are free to do as we please. We are free to speak our minds. As long as you do not speak of racism, sexism, Politics, socio-economics, social differences, feminism, violence, and religion. Insert issues too sensitive to talk about here. And let's just pretend that they do not exist. We are naturally afraid of things we do not understand. It is easier to show anger and disgust, masking insecurity that stems from distrust. And learn the preconceived ideas that scare you. Knowledge is free. Knowledge is power. Learn before we try to alter history, norm, tradition. Pacify your doubts with facts learned. Speak only of what you know. Poets are not here just for show. Poets are to advocate. String words together to educate that words carry weight. B 
Be mindful of your speech and what you tolerate. Thank you. Thank you, guys. How are you so far? Okay, ta, makan breakfast tak ni semua orang? No, yeah, actually me too. I'm going to have some food later. All right, so are you ready for another one? Yeah? Can I get another yeah? Yeah, I like that man right there. He's very loud. I love it. Thank you. Okay, so this one, I dedicate to Malaysia. It's uh, aptly titled Merdeka. I wrote this piece for Merdeka. Um, all right, here goes. Apa itu kebebasan jika kita masih dengan sukarelanya menghambakan diri dengan jerat yang wujud di minda sendiri? Kita mementingkan apa kata orang. Kita menghulukan kaya barang. Yang penting bukan adab tutur bicara tapi janji-janji kosong yang sekadar penghiasan permainan kata. Kita menerima segala apa yang disaji. Kerana kita pantang dicaci, dituduh tak kenang budi, mudah lupa diri. Adakah ini erti kebebasan jika segala yang dilakukan ditemani syarat? Bukankah kebebasan itu maksudnya kita boleh buat apa saja yang diingini pada waktu yang disenangi tanpa wujudnya apa-apa pantang larang yang menghalang? Jadi apa itu kebebasan? Jika kita masih dikongkong jerat yang diizinkan diri. Apa gunanya kebebasan jika kita yang punya ruang untuk menjadi satu masih mengagungkan mereka pada asalnya menghapuskan kebebasan kita. Kebebasan dari penjajah bukan tanda noktah dalam kebangkitan kita. Kerana kebebasan, kemerdekaan, Bermula dari jiwa yang bebas dan merdeka dari jerat minda yang dijajah diri sendiri. Thank you. Alright guys. I'm down to my last one. And for this one, I need your help to decide which I should recite. Okay? So... We all know love makes the world go round, right? You do everything out of love. You do everything out of passion. Am I right? Yes or no? Yeah! All right, awesome. Okay, so, of course, as, as someone who writes poetry, I have a number of love poems. So, I need your help to tell me which one to read right now. One is a love poem for a person that I love. Another is a love poem for myself. <laughs> All right, so which one do you want to listen to? All right, we'll do a consensus, okay? For someone else, hands up. Wah, tak ada siapa. For myself. Yeah, let's do that. All right, is it here? Okay, it's here. All right, awesome. Great, guys. Okay, this one is my last piece for today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me once again. Truly honored to share the stage with awesome speakers. This is entitled Skin. Love poem for myself. The human skin is the outer covering of the body. The largest human organ is the skin. The skin has up to seven layers of tissues that guards the muscles, bones, ligaments, and internal organs often forgotten how we start off as a blank canvas, empty, clean, hopeful skin. Our skin is a canvas on which we paint on. We decide what color to show. We blush pink, we glow yellow, we fume red, pale when mellow. We consciously scar ourselves permanently fooling ourselves into thinking we are fully committing, bleeding red to prove our loyalty to our beliefs. But who are we reassuring but only ourselves? Dragons, 
stands for purity, hope, and strength. Feathers stand for death, loss, birth, luck. Sun stands for power, perseverance, new beginnings. New beginnings. Could a tainted canvas ever be cleansed of the past? Could a wash of white paint rid the underlying sin? Could the colors of pain be washed away with water, rain? Colors are frail. Colors are temporary. You are not subjected to a color for any more than just a moment in time. And time is nothing but a fragment of your imagination. No one is to question your suggestion. Artistic expression requires no validation. Yet we thirst for it. We ask for it. Why? We are our own canvas. We dictate what is to be painted on us. Dragon across my back, feathers at the back of my ear, sun on my chest. No one is to contest on what I choose to draw on me, on what I choose to see in me, on what I choose to be seen as my skin is nothing but a canvas I proudly call my masterpiece. Painted by pain, jealousy, heartbreak, sakit hati, Smeared with lots and lots of love and kisses and hugs. Splashed with grief, loss, unbearable ache. Held together with strength, patience. For goodness sake, my skin is mine. It isn't yours to take for granted. I am happy in mine and this is all I have ever wanted. Thank you.